Well, hello everybody and welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your daily reading for Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I truly do appreciate all of your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments, and your wonderful energy. So just a reminder, as always with the dailies, this is not tied to any zodiac sign and it is a general and intuitive reading. So not every message that comes out every day will be for all of you. Just take the parts of the reading that apply to your situation and leave the rest behind. So let's see where we go here. Messages please for people watching. What do we need to know most for the day ahead, April 22nd? Woo, okay. There we go. We're going to get this one that's flipping over here. We've got patience. That's what everyone likes to hear, isn't it? All right. So let's see where else we go here. I'll go through, I'll go through that one in a little deeper detail in just one minute. So messages, please, for people watching. What do we need to know the most for the day ahead, please? Messages for people watching. Oh, look at that bonus. We got two. All right. And what do we have here? We've got transformation and we also have friendship coming out as well. All right, so let's see what else we get. Messages for people watching, please. Current situation. All right. Current situation, current energy. We've got the six of voices. Energy coming towards us today. We've got the seven of voices advice from spirit we've got the eight of inspiration and your outcome energy we've got the sun look at that all right so i'm just going to pull another card for each one of these clarify these cards on the table please all right six of voices is clarified by the nine of materials now, I think if you watched yesterday's reading, you might want to go back and watch it because yesterday the nine of materials is the nine of pentacles and yesterday I used the fairy deck and it was the nine of uh, autumn, which is the same energy, okay? And that also appeared at the beginning of your reading, okay? So some of you are taking steps moving forward. I'm loving that. Um, Clarify seven of voices is clarified by the emperor, Aries energy. Eight of Inspiration, which is the Eight of Wands, is clarified by Justice, all right? That's the advice from Spirit, okay? Love that energy. And then your outcome, your sun, uh, the sun is clarified by the Seven of Materials. There's that patience, all right? So something making you very, very happy, but that you may need to nurture to get it to grow, to get it to expand. So patience, all right? Pause before, taking a before you take a decision trust that divine timing is at work yes it is be patient and play while you wait all right so uh, i feel for some of you you may um, be manifesting some new opportunities into your life um, you may have made some sort of investments, whether it's in yourself or in your money. Okay. And, um, you know, I feel as though, uh, with this energy that you might be making a decision. All right. You may be uh, considering leaving your current job for a new opportunity. Um, you know, we did have, you know, some new love and things come in, uh, with yesterday's reading. So, you know, this might be the energy of contemplation. All right. And spirit just wants to remind you to listen to your intuition before you charge in to something because you know um we want to make sure that whatever energy that you put into something is good for you and it's good for your growth and your um you know your abundance for the future right whatever that is for you so some of you just might need to take a pause for the cause there a little bit before you head or dive headlong into something there's nothing wrong with that okay quite often if someone if someone or something is pushing you to make an instant decision sometimes that can be a red flag that's also be patient with yourself and it's also one of divine timing right because you know things spirit brings us what we need um which doesn't always match when we want it so we we get what we need when we need it but you know humans are a little bit impatient right we want the instant gratification we want things now so the universe um you know works a little bit differently okay so uh it's not instant gratification so some of you just need to you know just take a step down take a step back and go have some fun 
All right, because we do have friendship coming out here. I love this energy. All right, so fairies and humans alike all need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. All right, it's a beautiful energy. Some of you, um, you know, yesterday, in yesterday's reading, we had some of you meeting a new friend, a new romantic partner, something along those lines. We also had support coming out, right? So you know, your friends, family, your support system uh, is very important. And whether you need a shoulder to cry on, whether you need someone to bounce some ideas off of, or whether you just need to go for a happy hour somewhere, I mean, honestly, you know, so whatever that is for you, you may want to get together, um, you know, with, uh, with a couple of different friends and just go out and have some fun, right? Not everything is doom and gloom. And sometimes, you know, sometimes, especially when we're trying to manifest something into our life or we're working on something, sometimes we just need to cut loose for a little bit and put our worries aside, put our projects aside, and just go out and enjoy the day, enjoy the afternoon, okay? And enjoy some camaraderie, right? Some friends. Now we also have transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. All right, very positive energy. Uh, we do have butterflies of transformation all around this fairy, okay? And she also has a lot of flowers in her hair. So that represents... Um, um, abundance. Okay. So whatever area in your life you're trying to improve, you're trying to change, whether that is emotionally, spiritually, it might be your job. It might be your relationships, whatever it happens to be. Uh, resistance is futile. Okay. There's changes that are for your highest good, positive changes that are in, uh, in your life. Okay. And they will lift you up and move you forward. Okay. It's a very positive energy. So, current situation, current energy, we've got the six of voices and the nine of materials. Now the six of voices, that is the six of swords energy. Nine of materials is nine of pentacles. So it feels some of you, um, whether you have left something physically or not yet, I feel mentally you are making changes that you are, yes, you are making some changes within your way of thinking in your thought process, even in your communication with yourself that move you towards your abundance. All right. And it feels as though some of you, you may have been holding on to a job for too long. Um, and you may have kind of known instinctively, intuitively that there may not be anything left for you there. There may not be any room for advancement, for growth, um, whether that's in your current company or your current position. All right, because not everyone would leave their company, but there may just be an opportunity for you to leg up, okay, to just level up in your position, in your role, even if it's transferring to a different department or a different division, some other office, because the Six of Voices, Six of Swords can be about a physical move sometimes as well, not just a mental one. All right, but whatever that means for you, you are moving towards your abundance. Some of you are moving towards your independence as well. Um, some of you with this energy, this nine of materials, you may actually be considering um, opening up your own business or being your own boss. Uh, you may have, a, you may be working on a home-based business perhaps, okay, because this nine of, nine of materials is an independent energy and it's also one of abundance and success. So um, it's a very positive energy no matter how you shake it, all right? So whatever that means for you, you are moving towards abundance and success, all right? It's very positive energy. So again, whatever the six of voices means for you, whether you have just dropped a way of thinking and you're embracing something better, okay, or whether you're, you know, you've come to terms with, um, with something uh, in your life that you need to move away from, okay, and you need to move towards something better. Um, some of you, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think yesterday's reading, we may have had an apology that comes in. So the six of voices can just have you dropping an argument. Um, it's just picking your battles, right? It's not worth arguing about. It's not worth any more uh, energy, okay? So, um, and with that nine materials, there is some tangible success with that. It's like, you know what? Let the negative go, embrace the positive because we have bigger, better things to worry about. So the energy coming towards you today, we've got the seven of voices, which is seven of swords, and we also have the emperor. 
So I'm getting a few different energies off of this one, okay? So um, first of all, the Seven of Voices can be about some uh, lies, betrayal, deception. It could be that someone's keeping something hidden from you, something someone may not be uh, honest and forefront or forthright, I should say, uh, with something that's going on, okay? So this could be in your workplace situation. There could just be something, uh, this emperor could represent your boss. Um, it just, it could be something that, um, they may have some company information that they're not allowed to share. And I feel intuitively you may have some spidey sense, all right? Now, what this actually is, kind of hard to say, right? Because it's, you know, they may be keeping it hidden from you, right? So I feel as though either you're going to get the spidey sense that someone's hiding something, someone's not speaking the truth, maybe someone's, uh, you know, just got a heavy handed lie that line of BS and you ain't, you ain't buying it. You're like, whatever, dude, I'm out of here, you know, because with this six of voices, you're in that, that transitional energy, right? And so, you know, it's like, yeah, you know what, bud, I'm on to you, okay? I know that you're just really not who you say you are. I know that you don't have anyone else's best interests at heart except for yourself, all right? And you just might not be buying their crap, all right? So, um, and, you know, we do have in this in this card here, the seven of voices, there are these foxes around like sly, like a fox. All right. So I feel this emperor has to do with someone around you, probably someone that's in a position of authority. They could be your boss. They could be someone you work with, maybe a senior employee. All right. And, uh, it just, it just feels as though they're just not being honest about something. All right. Now, does it feel like something huge? I don't think so. Um, it might feel kind of huge or underhanded. Uh, they could even be stealing your ideas, I gotta say, uh, taking credit for your work. Uh, sneaky, sneaky, right? Um, could be taking credit for something and uh, perhaps behind your back and it might, you might find out today and you're like, what the actual F? Like seriously, anyway. So it feels as though you're, you're like, hmm, no, it's time to strategize and it's time to get out of this situation because there's just no winning. All right. I also feel with the seven of voices here, okay, this can be about being authentic with yourself, right? Being honest with yourself, being truthful about the situation. And I feel that there's some spiritual energy here that is um, helping to get you in alignment, especially coming out right beside that six of voices. All right. Because, you know, it feels as though you may have something, something brewing behind the scenes, right? You're devising some sort of strategy, some sort of plan, okay, at least mentally. And it's like, I don't know if you've ever heard that saying, quite often we leave a situation mentally and emotionally before, long before we ever do physically, okay? Because it all starts in the gut, it all starts in the mind, right? With your emotions, right? It, it feels as though you're detaching from something, mentally and emotionally and you're devising a strategy you're devising a plan and you're not going to take any forward movements until you know exactly what you need to do and what steps it feels if you're looking to leave a job you're not just going to walk out in a blaze of glory um, it feels as though you're going to be very methodical about it and you're going to have all of your ducks in a row because that emperor energy that aries energy yes it's one of taking action but it's also one of devising a strategy all right, so some of you may be looking to level up, but you may be keeping it hidden from other people. You don't want to let, you don't want anyone else to catch on to what you're doing, right? So it feels as though it's really got this energy of you are playing your cards really close to your chest. And it feels as though, especially in the workplace, that you, you don't want to let people know what you're up to because you don't want to let the cat out of the bag, right? That could uh, rock the boat where you currently are. Okay, so a very interesting energy. All right, but, um, you know, but I feel for some of you, you may be, um, you know, you may have somebody coming in that can actually help you today, uh, someone that helps you um, overcome some sort of challenge or hurdle. That emperor energy can be very, um, a very positive energy. Um, it could be someone that's older, could be someone in a leadership position, it could be someone in your friendship circle that is, um, you know, that is very wise and very experienced. And they could really, um, you know, be helping you 
uh, get your thoughts in alignment or, you know, devise a plan of some kind, but it feels as though it's someone, uh, for some of you, that's very trustworthy. Okay, so a few different energies that, that are there. All right, now your advice from spirit. I love this energy. So for first of all, we've got the Eight of Inspiration, Eight of Wands. All right, this is fast forward momentum based on your actions. All right, you have the ability to move yourself forward, move yourself onwards, upwards. This is not an energy of stagnation. Okay, so, you know, with this patience energy that's right there, um, and plus with justice coming out with the Eight of Inspiration, this is a very strong message of divine timing. Okay, you are on the right path. Your karma, your destiny is all unfolding exactly as it should when it's meant to. All right, and you might not feel it necessarily that you are in the in the position um, or in the energy that you're meant to be. It's like, oh, where am I in my life? I don't feel as though things are quite right. All right, this is spirit telling you that yes. You are where you're meant to be and you are headed in the right path. When it's time to take action, take the action. But it feels as though your intuition will tell you with this justice energy. It also feels as though, you know, spirit's trying to give you some advice to speak your truth. Okay, speak your truth, find your truth, listen to your inspiration, your wisdom, find some guidance if you need some guidance, and then be ready to move forward. Express yourself. This aid of inspiration, aid of wands, is about um, you know positive communication as well that moves you forward, moves you over a hurdle, um, and that's also the energy of overcoming hurdles. So I'm going right back to the seven of voices and this emperor. Okay, some of you may need to. Uh, you know, speak your truth, whether that's within yourself or with it, or, you know, um, whether it's inwardly or externally. All right. But um, there is some good karma coming your way. And I'm really getting that strong sense that there's a lot of divine timing that's working with you behind the scenes to move you forward, to trans transform you into something, um, uh, you know, into a better position, a better relationship, a better career position, whatever that is for you. All right. I also feel here with this justice energy that you may need to take some action to find some balance in your life. You may be spending too much time at work, not enough time at home, uh, not enough time out with your friends. All right. You may be just really bogged down, at least mentally, and it feels as though spirit wants you to um, find some balance, go out and have some fun, take your worries, uh, you know, put your worries aside for an hour, or two hours, okay, something along those lines, right, just to go out and have some fun, get that balance back into your life, right, so spirit invites you with justice, that's Libra and energy, spirit really invites you with that, uh, with that card there to um, think about where in your life you may be out of balance, out of sync, with yourself, your surroundings, your universe, your relationships, right? And then um, and then move forward and take some action to get yourself back into that alignment there. Very positive energy, very positive card that's coming out with that justice. Love that. And then we have your outcome energy for the day. We've got the sun and we have the seven of materials, okay? So the sun, um, happiness, joy, uh, celebration, the happiest energy in the deck, all right? It also has to do with family, with children, um, also with abundance, okay? The sun makes everything grow, right? Without the sun coming out, um, nothing can ever uh, blossom, nothing can ever grow, right? And with the sun shining down on the seven of pentacles, Okay, right back to patience there. Okay, so the uh, the universe, the sun is shining down on whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. All right, but it does still require a little bit of patience, perhaps some strategic planning. Seven of, Pen uh, seven of materials relates back to the seven of pentacles, right? And that's one of having a look at what you've built, what you want, what you need, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And then you need to take the time to devise a strategy, what you need to keep, what you need to release, um, what you need to nurture, whether that's yourself or something external, um, and then put your plans into action. But in order to make your strategy blossom and grow, make your um, uh, your decisions kind of come to fruition, it does require a little bit of patience, okay? So this is really the universe saying, everything's gonna be okay, there's happiness coming for you, okay? And we are working really, really hard behind the scenes to bring you in this good karma, to bring you in some money, to bring you in some balance into your life, 
and to really put you, um, you know, uh, bring you everything that you are looking for that you need. For some, it's life changing, um, like in a big way. And for others of you, it's just those little small things that accumulate throughout the course of your days, right? It can be just one little positive thing at a time. And, uh, you know, that can be very uplifting as well. All right. So very positive energy there. All right. So uh, I'm going to close out your reading here with a message from the magical fairies. What else do we need to know, please, for the day ahead? Messages for people watching, please. What else do we need to know? Ooh, okay, there we go. So we have connect with nature and we have perfect timing. So start with the connect with nature. You've re uh, you're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. Okay, finding that balance. Some of you may find your balance by going outside, going for a walk, connecting with nature. Um, even if it's just sitting outside on your balcony or your patio and reading a book or just letting the sun <laughs> shine down on you. All right, whatever that means for you. But that's certainly a great way to find some balance and take your mind off of anything that's troubling you. All right, and just really kind of clear your your space clear your mind we have perfect timing this is the right time for you to move forward all right so that eight of inspiration energy that eight of wands right um, that transformation so what changes are you looking to make your six of voices right mentally I feel that some of you are moving past something or making some life changes there so whatever that happens to be it's all about the timing right? And even with divine timing working for you in the background, there's still some inspired action that you may need to take. So if you're looking for a brand new job, you still need to put your resume out there, right? Um, we all want, we all live in the, in the, you know, fantasy that, oh, one day we'll just get headhunted and someone's going to knock on our door or phone our, phone our cell phone and just offer us some magical opportunity that pays us, you know, uh, you know, hundred thousand dollars a year and you know, all that kind of, all that kind of thing. And while it does happen, all right, it usually is a result of our action that we take as well. Okay. But there's certainly some divine timing at play for you in a very positive way that good karma that's coming on in for you, you deserve it. All right. You deserve it for sure. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys, all right? But hopefully there was something in here that resonated with you, something that gave you some wisdom, guidance, inspiration. Um, if so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.